Our hearts beat to the city streets We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals they take us high so hey guys welcome back to my channel for tutorials so guys today i will teach you how to create rolling banner cgi advertising animation with using blender and guys second one aspire add-on and see guys that's my final one final animation and guys i show you my render preview so click on here see guys that's my final render preview it's looking really good okay so now guys i could do here and new composition and guys firstly go to on here that's my fspy add-on guys don't worry it's free add-on so simple select your image select drag and drop on fspy add-on drag and drop yeah so see guys that's my vanishing points vanishing points one x is good and second one guys i use z and guys z1 that's my height so guys height like this yeah and second point yes right and guys now this one that's my x axis so guys x axis go to on here that's like a my flow and guys select this one also yeah see guys that's my like a perspective view and go to on 3d grid and use x y grid and go to one down yeah right see guys that's my simple plane okay so guys now save your file so go to one file and save and go to one desktop like a file and guys create save go to one blender and guys select all and press delete key so guys go to one file and import and import as add on this one file go to one desktop select your as add on yeah see guys that's my file and guys go to on background and opacity i like 100 percent yeah right okay so guys now i apply this time hot air balloon 3d model guys i download this hot air balloon from sketchpad and guys go to a new file append so guys i have file append yes right see guys that's my hot air balloon guys you can download this hot air balloon from sketchfab and second one guys from my website free so guys see that's my collection and go to down and guys press zero for camera and select your this one empty select hierarchy so guys smaller and also change position yeah and guys go to a top like this right see guys, that's my simple hot air balloon and guys little bit off yeah much better right see guys that's my simple composition and now guys this time i apply cylinder so guys go to on here that's my collection so guys select and use cylinder check and guys now go to on here rotation change like by 90 and increase this one that's my segments and radius change radius like a 0 0.1 and that i like 10 actually yeah i will change this one okay so guys radius more change like 0 0.56 is good yeah press 0 okay so guys that's too much so guys little bit change height and scale size change yeah okay so guys see that's my simple banner banner support yeah good okay so guys all is good and now i select your cylinder and attach on this basket right and guys now i apply this time plane so guys i take plane and change rotation so x rotation change like a 90 this one yeah and increase scale size guys go to on here like this and guys i change this one little bit 
height here okay so guys height increase like this and little bit more yeah and attach on this one cylinder yes good right see guys that's my simple composition and press zero for camera and guys now select your collection and go to on here select object so guys go to an up like this and little bit smaller little bit and go to an up yes right see guys that's my composition and next one guys this time i create segments so guys select your plane and go to on edit mode so guys select your edge select and closer right click guys loop cut slice and check and guys number of cut increase like uh, 70 is good and guys select this one and right click loop cut enter and number of cut increase like it is good yeah okay see so guys that's my segments and next one guys i apply this time go to on here and curve see guys that's my here archimedean curve tool right and guys go to on preferences and guys add on and use extra select this extra curve and mesh right that's my extra curve and mesh check Okay, so guys, same. Go to on curve and use arc median. This one, yeah. And see, guys, that's my arc median curve tool. So, guys, turn increase and radius increase. Yeah. And see, guys, that's my radius and little bit change. Yes. And guys, step. Guys, that's my number of segments. Like a forty is good. And change guys radius little bit more yeah okay so guys see that's my turns I like six is good for me right see that's my simple tool and now guys go to on mid on here so guys go to rotate so rotate like this like a minus ninety and also rotate like this right like a 90 and down okay see guys that's my points corner points and guys now press 3 attach on this cylinder go to a mid and closer see guys that's my cylinder and go to a mid yeah good and press zero for camera preview yeah that's my circle okay so guys now this time guys little bit change circle size is too much so press s letter and change scale size like this yeah much better and guys next one i apply this time guys select this one plane and go to on here and use curve tool this one curve yeah and guys see that's my deformer axis and curve object i like this one separate here yeah. and deformer axis guys change randomly change like this yeah this one this one minus y is good right see that's my folding effect and right click on this plane shade smoother and guys now select this plane and change this one z1 guys see that's my location and z location change like this right that's my simple axis okay so guys now press this time go to on here edit mode select this one circle spring and guys edit mode so guys select this one and little bit change position little bit yeah good right that's my simple position and guys now select this plane and spring change yeah right see guys that's my simple curve effect yes good okay so guys all is good and now guys select your plane and guys circle attach on this one cylinder select both objects and guys press 3 and see guys that's my center axis so go to on here like this 
and little bit up, little bit. Yeah, good. Yes, right. See so that my circle, right? And attach on on this one cylinder. Guys, nice little bit change cylinder radius depending on your work. It's but for me is good. And guys, now I apply this time glow tag. So guys, select your plane, this one. And guys, I apply this time cloth and go to on here. See guys, that's my stiffness. I like 10, 10 and 10. Yeah. And go to on here, catch. And guys, I will change catch and so go to on collision. And collision quality, you can increase depending on your work. And self collision check and friction like a 0.1. That's it guys, right? Okay, so now guys go to on field and guys gravity. I will increase like a 1.5 for fast rolling effect and guys now play okay see guys that's not animate right it's not working so guys now you can create vertex map so for vertex map and guys vertex map you can change this and close so guys go to on here and guys see that's my curve curve and uncheck so guys press V actually one so guys go to on here select this plane and go to on edit mode check so guys select this points this one vertex and guys select last corner points guys don't select top face don't select top face right don't select this one select on bottom vertex press word select this one yeah go to on here vertex and create check and assign check yeah that's it guys right really simple and go to on again modifier and go to on here check yes okay so guys now i apply this time again collision tag actually cloth tag see guys that's my cloth so guys go to on here like a 10 10 and 10 and go to on here guys self collision check and friction like a 0.1 enter and gravity 1.5 yes and go to on bake and bake check okay so guys my baking is finished and play okay so guys it's not working so again delete bake check and now guys go to on shape and pin group i use group yeah and bake all dynamic check baking is finished and guys one more time preview yeah much better See guys, that's my really cool folding cloth animation, right? And guys, one more time preview. Yes. See guys, that's my really cool cloth simulation. And stop. And one more time preview. Yeah, really good. Okay, so guys, my work is finished. My cloth dynamic is finished. And now, guys, I create this time single simple collision position animation and guys go to on back so guys go to on here and delete big check guys change gravity is too much faster like a 1.2 is good and friction like a one and and guys select your collection and right click guys select object yeah and guys press i and location check and now guys i increase frame like a 400 is good for me yeah 400 and guys go to a last so guys select your collection guys don't worry it will fix and guys position change like this and guys press i and location check yeah that's it guys so one more time select this plane this one and go to on catch and and like a 400 and bake check see guys that's my baking guys my final baking is finished and preview yeah right see guys that's my rolling banner animation and second one guys that's my hot air balloon position animation right okay so guys my animation is finished now go to on here render setting and use cycle render divide gpu check guys max amp like a 2.5 is good for me 
so guys go to on here fill and transparent check go to on color management and use standard and guys now i apply hdr lighting so select and guys environment texture check guys you can apply any hdr lighting guys i have ct environment texture so select this one and import guys increase strength like a 1.5 enter and now guys i apply texture so guys select and apply texture so go to on shading press 0 for camera and create new so guys select your principal vhf press ctrl t and apply any texture so guys texture like this and import yeah okay so guys rotate your texture rotate like this like a 180 and guys flip your texture like a 180 yeah great and guys now i increase lighting so metallic increase like a 0 0.5 and roughness 0 0.4 is good yes and layout check so guys now i show you my single one frame render and guys max amp i like to one to it so render and render image check yeah see guys that's my only one frame render and now guys close go to on compositing and use node check and guys apply some effect so guys viewer check and guys press shift a alpha over connect to mid and guys now select shift a image guys import your same clip image like a city so connect and guys connect to viewer yeah so guys press this time b yeah that's my really cool composition and go to a layout and guys now lastly i take plane so guys select this one collection and use plane and increase plane size because i create like a shadow effect so guys yeah all is good select this one and guys go to on here visibility and shadow catcher check yeah that's it guys right that's my final one and guys click on here so yeah and render preview yes much better see guys that's my really cool final work and guys click on here and preview yes great right see guys that's my final work it's looking really good okay so guys that's it my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel and guys you can download this project file from my website free thank you